Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the top 10 free Roku channels. Now, this is not a video where I'm gonna go after hidden gems or stuff you've never heard of if you're an experienced cord cutter. I'm gonna be talking about the best stuff that you can find for free on Roku. So if you are a brand new cord cutter, this video is going to be a treasure trove of great information. If you are an experienced cord cutter, if you've used Roku for a while, Hopefully there's something on this list that will jump out to you as a little bit of a surprise, but uh, you may have heard of a lot of these before. All right, so with that said, let's dive in. Okay, again, like I said, hopefully there's something here that's helpful to you, whether you're brand new to cord cutting or whether you're an old hand at this, but either way, uh, give this video a like if it's helpful to you, I'd appreciate that. Now, let's go ahead and dive in. I've got my Roku pulled up here. I'm skipping past the things like Netflix and Disney Plus uh, because those aren't free, right? So let's move to our first uh, our first top 10 free channel. This is the Roku channel. It's gonna be an obvious choice because if you're a Roku user, it's right there for you. So the Roku channel and a lot of the ones that are gonna come right after this are basically aggregators of content that is free and usually commercial supported. So. In the Roku channel, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of that. You can watch some good TV and movies uh, that they've pulled together, commercial supported. The nice thing about the Roku channel, the thing that they're trying to do here is actually not necessarily free. A lot of the stuff you'll get here is free, but then you can also pull in premium subscriptions from HBO, Epix, Stars, uh, so that you can uh, watch all of that stuff here in one place. So it is great, they've got good organization for their content here, uh, and you can take a look around yourself. I think that the Roku channel, of all of the free TV and movie channels uh, that I'm gonna show you here today, they probably have, if it's not the best, it's right there at the top as far as the quality of the content that they're offering for free, uh, the, the stuff that you would actually kinda wanna watch. So moving on, and this is gonna be kind of themed because we're moving on to Tubi now. Tubi is my number two pick for the top 10 best free apps on Roku. And again, free movies and TV. Are you seeing a theme here? Free movies and TV. Tubi is set up a bit like Netflix, right? You're gonna have categories, it's in a tile format. And when you log in, you'll see all of that stuff in one place for you to peruse. And it's, yeah, again, a lot like Netflix. You've got recommended, most popular. You do have a category not on Netflix, which I appreciate. And when you click on these, it opens it up. The only difference here is that it is commercial supported, unlike Netflix. You know, you pay for Netflix, so you don't have to watch the commercials. Here you do. So again, not much to talk about here other than their method of categorization, which I'll come back to again and again not talking a ton about the content that you do get on here because it's constantly shifting and everybody has different preferences. So what might jump out to me might not jump out to you. Similarly, Sony has a service called Crackle, which you can log into. Oh, oh, oh. You don't have to log in, you can skip. If you log in, then you can save preferences and profile stuff. Uh, but here they have a little bit different layout uh, so that you can sort to your category, you can sort to the category that you want a little bit faster, a little more easily. There are things that you'll have to log in for, like this watch later tab, you log in and then it's going to save that profile. So if you wanna save stuff to watch later, uh, unfortunately it doesn't save it to the device, you have to log in so that they can save it to a profile. So uh, again, you don't have to log in, but you can. Once you do, um, or again, if you choose not to, then yeah, there's plenty of stuff for you to watch. You'll notice a lot of these things are kind of shared between the services. You'll see Bewitched uh, quite a bit. You'll see Third Rock from the Sun on several services because they all kind of uh, get those really cheap or free licenses to get you that content. All right, and lastly, and this is a bit of a twofer. It, it's actually like a seven fur, if that's a thing. Film Rise. Okay, so there are a lot of different Film Rise apps, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, they're all the same, right? They do have a lot of crossover content. So if you were to get the Film Rise free movies and TV app or the Film Rise free TV app, there's going to be a lot of crossover. The free TV version does have movies. I don't know why exactly these two are separated out, but once you come in here, again, it's going to be a little bit similar to, uh, to something like Tubi 
where you can look through it just like Netflix. You know, again, you're going to have to watch commercials on like Netflix, but a lot of good stuff on here. The one thing that I will mention is I like the way that they have organized uh, obviously TV, movies, and recently added. This is a nice one here on FilmRise because the content on these services, like I said, is constantly shifting uh, and you lose titles, you gain titles. And so if you uh, are jumping in, you find yourself scrolling and seeing the same things over and over again, you go to the recently added uh, content and you can look by, uh, by letter, you know, right? They've got it sorted alphabetically and you can see the stuff that is more recently added so that you're not looking at the same thing that you saw you know, six months ago, whenever the last time was that you logged in. Okay, let's move on to something a little bit different, Pluto and Zumo. We're gonna take a look at both of these because these are, again, free content. This is all free content, but Pluto TV, unlike the other ones where they are trying to, uh, they're trying to emulate something like Netflix or Hulu or something like that, Pluto TV is actually emulating more like your cable or satellite subscription, where you log in, you've got a live channel here, and you can scroll through all sorts of live channels. Uh, so it's not going to be the channels that you're used to, but it'll be some offshoots from those. It'll be some, uh, you know, kind of niche channels that really want to get in on something like this. Pluto is getting more and more popular, and for good reason. There's a lot of great stuff on here. Uh, for you to go through and you can go through categories as well So if you want to watch news or movies or you know, what have you you can go ahead and uh, and sort that So that you can find the stuff you actually want to watch. Here's a great example So you're not necessarily going to get Comedy Central, but you can get the Comedy Central Version that they put on Pluto TV for free, right? So it may not have their absolute best programming but it's gonna have some pretty good stuff on there. Comedy Central stand-up, right? All stand-up all the time. Pretty sweet. Similarly, we have Zumo, X-U-M-O, if you're trying to search that on your device. So Zumo is gonna be very similar to Pluto TV. If I can, okay, there we go. Yep, you can get in here, you can check live. They're actually going to have a section, unlike Pluto TV, where you can go in and check out some free movies. Uh, that will, again, get you back into that kind of Netflix mode a little bit with the on-demand content, but you have uh, on-demand and live stuff all in one place and all for free, again. All right, so if you're cutting the cord and you don't have your news, your cable news uh, channels anymore, you can still stay up to date. There are a bunch of news channels out there on Roku and other streaming devices, but I narrowed it down to my favorite, which is Newsy. Uh, so the other ones are good too, but if I'm choosing my favorite news uh, app that I turn to most often, it's going to be Newsy. It's not because uh, they have better stories necessarily, but I do like that it feels more like a, a classic or an old school network TV news hit where they've got three to five minute segments just kind of giving you the facts of the day. So they do have a live uh, here, if I go down here, they do have Newsy now, which is live TV. That is not free. They want you to pay two bucks a month for that. Uh, but all the rest of it is free. And they even have some good short little documentary series. I, earlier today, I was watching why video games are looking more like movies. Uh, and it was a really fascinating little four or five minute segment on that subject. I really enjoyed it. So Newsy, fantastic choice if you want that kind of content or if you just want to stay in the loop. Okay, again, let's go to a twofer here, PBS and PBS Kids. Now, this one, you go in online, you set up your account at pbs.com, I think it is, maybe pbs.org, honestly, I can't remember. Anyway, you set up your account, and then you activate your, your uh, app here on the Roku between those two, and once you're in, you can access either PBS for yourself or PBS for your kids, and they have all the PBS content that you could ever possibly want to watch. It's all right here, and it's all gonna be based on your area, right? Because uh, PBS stations are a local affair, so you have to sign in so that they can get you the local stuff that, uh, that you are entitled to. All right, now, maybe we file this one under super obvious and a little bit self-referential, but, but YouTube is a fantastic app on these streaming devices, including on the Roku. I highly recommend that you get it, use it, and love it. Uh, YouTube obviously has millions, maybe billions of hours of great content out there now. 
Now it's not as easy to search on your TV as it is to search for content on your PC or on your phone, just because it's a pain to type things out, but they do still have their great recommendations. Uh, and so I, I definitely love coming in here if I'm just, you know, I, I need 10 or 20 minutes to kill and, uh, and I, I wanna watch something that YouTube is going to suggest for me, I'm gonna find a lot of stuff in the app itself. And that brings me to my last one here. And again, maybe file this one under obvious, but maybe it's not obvious to everybody. Get Spotify. If you use Spotify, and most of us do, then you can get Spotify on your Roku. It's nice if you, you know, maybe you're doing chores around the house. Maybe you're watching on your, uh, you're working in the kitchen and you've got the TV there and you don't really want to watch it. You just want to listen to something. Spotify on your, Spotify on your Roku is a fantastic choice. So once you're into Spotify, you can find your playlists, you can search for something, or you can have them find playlists for you. Uh, and yeah, there's not really much to it. The only thing I would say here is that if you have a terrible TV, then it might not be as much fun to listen to it. Um, I would definitely recommend if you are going to be listening to quite a bit of music with your Roku, then go get a nice sound bar, or I've got the Roku speakers hooked up to my TV and those are fantastic. I really highly recommend them. Uh, if you, again, if you watch a lot of movies and you care about sound, or if you're gonna be listening to music, then yeah, invest in a good pair of speakers. All right, so there you have it. The top 10 free channels right now available on Roku. Now there are some missing from here. Unfortunately, apps do get pulled sometimes. I wish I could have highlighted Twitch, but they don't have an app on Roku anymore. Reuters TV might have been my choice a year ago for the top 10, uh, the news option in the top 10, but that's gone. But this is what we do have, the top 10 free channels. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, give this video a like if it was helpful to you. Fun fact, actually, this is an update of a video that we did on this channel two, two and a half years ago, and that is the most popular video we've ever done. It featured Sabby, our intern at the time. She was fantastic. Uh, so. You know, if you are subscribed to this channel, again, fun fact for you, there is a 9% chance that you came in from that video. So I hope that I was up to her exacting standards in this video. <laughs> again, let me know if you liked it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.